Speaking of Saudi Arabia, man, oh man, it's a guy down there, man. I can't think of his name, but he be throwing the boxing matches. And I think he's the like advisor of um entertainment down there. But um, I wanted to ask you, what is this issue with Floyd Mayweather, man? Because I seen an interview from him, and it was funny, man. And when they brought up his name, you can tell he don't like him. Hold on, let me put up this audio for you. Check your phone. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, let me tell <laughs> Who's your favorite fighter of all time? Can I guess? Muhammad Ali. I like him a lot, but he, no? he's not the first. <laughs> he's not the first. Manny Pacquiao. No. Mike Tyson. No. Oh. I like him a lot. Floyd Mayweather. Of course, no. <laughs> He said, of course not. <laughs> I think, I, yeah, I think, I think, I feel him, bro. You know what I mean? I, I, I'll keep it real, though. I think Floyd Mayweather, in my opinion, and I'm, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be, this is my opinion. I think, I think he one of the best ever to step in the ring, in the ring. You know what I mean? So I think outside of the ring, maybe people don't really feel his personality, the arrogance and the talking down on people. You know what I mean? And, um, and just doing things that, you know, because you got to carry yourself a certain way. Once you put yourself in that limelight, you know, people going to take you by face value. Whatever they see, how you're dealing with people and the way you're acting, that's how they're going to look at you. You know what I mean? But in the ring, the dude was like, you know what I mean? One of the best. But outside of the ring, you know, I guess people ain't really feeling him. So I think outside of the ring is what people really not feeling him about. You know what I mean? And that's why. <laughs> you know, but I think, but I, inside the ring, he's one of the best. You know what I mean? I really got, you know, I kind of felt, I think a lot of people in America, and he was one of them, it, it kind of touched a lot of people the wrong way, especially in this side of the world where, you know, they was bringing May, Mayweather out here a lot. He was going to Dubai, he was getting a lot of money. And I think it, and not to bring politics, but for me, that's not politics because it's a genocide that's happening. Maybe you don't, you could cut it out if you want. If you don't want to put it on your platform, you know what I mean? I respect that. But I think people, it took it the wrong way because he sent like a plane, you know, of just goodies to Israel, and it seemed like he didn't even know both sides. You understand? He just like, oh, I'm on my way to Israel. I'm, I'm marching for Israel, but he's not really understanding what's happening. You understand? So I think that kind of rubbed people away the wrong way over here as well, including me, because I was like, bro, this dude come over and get all that Arab money, then all of a sudden, look what he's sending the plane to. You know what I mean? If, if you want to stay out of it, stay out of it. Some people might say, I don't understand what's really happening. I'm just going to shut my mouth. But he sent a plane to a people that's gen killing innocent women and children. Yeah, I did peep that. A lot of people felt the type of way about what Floyd did. But um, have you ever had any kind of interaction with Floyd? I met Floyd a few times. We met him, I would say, twice. The, you know, we met him one time with Jay Prince. Another time we met him at a, um, we was at the Source Award. We was deep. No, I met him three times, actually. The first time we ever met, we was in, we was in a studio in L.A. and his cousin got into it with Scarface from the Ghetto Boys. And I kind of, like, he was kind of being lewd, not getting to it when he was punking Scarface. It wasn't none of that. But he was a young, rowdy dude. And I remember he was his cousin. He said, and I kind of stood up for Scarface. Scarface, that's my man. So I kind of had some words. And May Floyd Mayweather was there. And the situation calmed down. So after we seen him at the Source Awards, and um, I probably would have never sold the story. He would have sent that plane to Israel. But we saw him at the Source Awards. And then we was deep. And I guess I might have just looked at him a certain way and I wasn't going to speak. But I guess I probably had a mean mug on me that he probably felt some kind of way. So I'm sitting down and we, the outlaws, we all together. He came like I was at the aisle and he came next to me and sat like not sat down, but got not like bent down a little bit. And he was like, you know, we don't want no problem with what happened the other day in the studio. And I kind of forgot all about it. <laughs> and I'm like, huh? He's like, you know, we don't want no problem. We don't want no issue. So I guess he probably felt the way I looked at him. Just You know how sometimes you just look at an individual and turn your head? And this was before he was like really, 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 where he could probably, you know, have a, when he had a whole bunch of bodyguards around him. But so that's the time that I really had, a, the three times I had an interaction with him. One time he was with Jay Prince, the other time in the studio. And that time he was trying to tell us, you know, I don't have no problems with you. You know what I mean? So, but he ain't seen that plane. I wouldn't have told that story. <laughs> <laughs> now I don't give a heck, you know what I mean?